It's a holiday heat wave. And I'm out here at Rachel Rhodes. We're surrounded by Christmas trees. So it only can mean one thing. We're gonna be learning about how to take care of them, right? Yeah. So where are we today? Today we're at White Marsh Orchard and Christmas Tree Farm in Centerville, Maryland. Awesome, Mr. Tom let us come to his uh, farm and yeah. pick out a tree. So where, what are we looking at right behind us? Today we're looking at some Canaan firs. And he has all types of trees here. Yes. Douglas fir. Douglas fir, blue spruce. You come here, you pick out the tree that you like. Yes. He has so many. Yep, you can come out, what, starting probably around Black Friday and tag your Christmas tree and make sure you pick out the right one so somebody else doesn't get it before you do. Um, and then you can come out a couple of weeks after that and cut it down and take it home. What do we have to do? So you first want to make sure that you cut your tree level. You don't want to do an angle. Straight line. Right Straight across. line. Yep. What do we do? Yep. Wrap it up? You want to make sure you wrap it up. There is a netting that Mr. Tom will put it through to kind of keep it nice and bunched. But if you're going to put it on top of your car, you actually want to wrap it with either like an old sheet or a drop cloth that's used for painting just to protect it from the wind. Because when you're driving down the road and the trees on top of the car or in the back of your truck, the wind can actually dry it out even more. Good tip. I never yeah. even thought of that. Yeah. So we get it home. You get it home and you want to make sure that you cut it again about a half inch from the actual base where it was cut initially. Straight line again. It's just another straight line and this is allows it to absorb water. Doesn't matter what kind of water you use, tap water's best, no additives, and you want to make sure that you're checking your tree every single day. A normal Christmas tree with a four inch diameter can drink about a gallon of water a day. Whew. Yeah, that's so more water than me or you. <laughs> yeah, that, that's crazy. And watch our fire safety video to see yes. what happens if you have a dry tree. Yes, you want to make sure that you keep your Christmas tree away from, you know, your air vents or direct sunlight. You want to make sure that you check the lights that you're putting on it to make sure that they're not cracked or old because that can start, start a fire in your house. The holiday season's done. What do we do with our tree? Well, you can actually call your local county and see if they have a disposal method for your tree. Or if you have a big backyard, you can put it in your backyard for a bird habitat. But you absolutely do not want to set it on fire or put it in your fireplace. They can really damage your chimney because they're so dry, they'll incinerate very, very fast. Great. So your yeah. holiday season's over. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to come back and see Mr. Tom next year. You want to make sure you come out for peach season in July. Ooh, oh, the plug, peach yeah. season in July. Yeah. Always something going on. I'm always dreaming about Mr. Tom's peaches because they're delicious. Yeah, during the, during the, the heat wave we're having yeah, right now. Yeah, exactly. For some peaches. It would be nice. Great. So thanks for watching. Take care of your tree at home. Mm -hmm. Have a great holiday season and make sure your tree is as healthy as you are. Yeah, drink that water. <laughs>